I've got a fairly quick but very classic problem from ancient Greece to show everyone today. So this is sometimes called the Loon of Hippocrates. So what is our setup? We've got an isosceles right triangle where I've just given it unit height and unit base. And then we've got a circle of radius one or really a quarter of a circle of radius one defined going through this vertex of the triangle and this vertex of the triangle that makes this vertex of the triangle the center of this circle. So I've notated that up here. So this is a quarter circle radius one. And then along the hypotenuse of the triangle, I've constructed a half circle and I've constructed this half circle so that the diameter is the hypotenuse of the triangle. And then our goal is to find the area of this thing that's called a loon. So that is inside of this half circle, but outside of this quarter circle. So this isn't the first video that I've done on the channel about loons. I did this nice problem called the loons of al Hazen, which involved the area of two loons connected to a triangle. And I've also found the area of a loon using integration. So check that, those out if you want to. And we're going to use the fairly standard trick in order to find the area of this loon. And that is we're going to show that it's equal to the area of the triangle, which is easy to calculate. So let's maybe write that down. So how can we show that it has equal area to that of the triangle? Well, we're going to do that by finding the area of this quarter circle as well as the area of this half circle. So in order to get a setup, let's introduce some notation. So I'll call capital A the area of our goal, which is the loon. Then capital B will be the area of the triangle, which should be equal to the area capital A. And then I'll call area C right here, the area of this bit, which is between the quarter circle and the triangle. And I wanna notice that I can calculate the combination of a couple of these very quickly. So let's notice that A plus C equals the area of a half circle with a radius of, well, we actually need to do a bit of calculation in order to co compute that radius. So let's see, by the Pythagorean theorem, we know that this hypotenuse is the square root of one squared plus one squared. So that means that this hypotenuse is square root of two. But this hypotenuse is a diameter of our circle. So that means in order to have the radius of this circle, we need to use the square root of two over two. So here, we'll write this as root two over two. But now since we've got half of a circle, we need to include a half, and then we'll use the standard formula for the area of a circle. So that's gonna be pi times the radius squared. So that'll be square root of two over two squared. So if we were to calculate that out, we would get pi over four. So in other words, a plus c equals pi over four. But there's another combination that's easy to calculate, and that is b plus c. So let's notice that b plus c is the area of a quarter circle with a radius of one. And so since we've got a quarter circle, we need to multiply by a quarter, and then we've got pi times the radius squared, so that's gonna be a quarter times pi. Oh, but look what we've got going on here. We've got a plus c and b plus c are both equal to one quarter. So a plus c equals b plus c. And that's because they both are equal to this quarter. But now if a plus c is b plus c, that clearly means that the area of region A is equal to the area of region B. But notice that the area of region A was kind of our goal area, which is hard to calculate on its own. But the area of region B is fairly easy to calculate on its own because it's a triangle. So notice it's gonna be one half base times height. So that means that this is equal to one half, one times one or one half. So that finishes this problem. We've got the area of our loon is one half and that's a good place to stop.